So we have a project here, um, which is Studios 5000 Architect. Um, this project uh, can be opened also in um, Logic's Designer, of course. Uh, there's a collaboration that you can do using both tools. And of course, here I can start to change and make some modifications into my hardware information, uh, giving some um, alias data uh, description. Um, this information is something I just modified and changed and obviously bringing it over into the um, Logix Designer environment. This is something that you can also, um, uh, you know, uh, view and see the changes made and, and look at the I.O. description here. This is the same information that I had brought in from the um, um, Logix Designer environment. The idea, the intention from here is, of course, to be able to export this information um, in an AML environment and uh, basically uh, send it to my ePlan environment. From within inside my ePlan environment, of course, I have here um, some of my card layouts, the description information, and of course, this is the project that I used to export uh, primarily. And what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna import the changes that I made um, in this environment in Logix uh, Designer. Um, so this is one of the benefits of being able to work with ePlan and being able to use this functionality. So I'm gonna import data. And of course, I'm gonna grab the file um, that I was that was generated, dropped into my desktop here, and I'm going to bring that information in. Of course, you can choose multiple languages uh, from here, but I'm just going to select English. And um, technically speaking, what happens here is that the information is read in. The data has been modified and changed. As you can see, the information here has now been updated, modified, changed, and this is bidirectional. So this is the functionality that we have to be able to um, export from another application, such as in this particular case, Studios 5000, and bring that into um, ePlan um, from an AML file.